everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 153. I'm Aileen. I'm George. I'm Cooper. I'm Brian. Nice to have you guys on the couch. Thanks. We nice have to guests. Have you too. <laughs> oh, thank you. This might be Cooper Break, everyone. I don't know what's going to happen, so let's just see how this goes. In case you don't know, Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including but not limited to designer vinyl, action figures, plush, collectibles, events, how-tos, anything, right? Anything, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anything we can get our hands on. Let's start by thanking our sponsors like Grumpy Bert, Tenacious Toys, Urban Rascal, Fuzzy Balls Apparel, Happy Panda Toys, Mini Cassette Tees, Tilted, 3D Retro, and Paysaber. I think that's the fastest we've ever done the sponsors. It's good. Should go quick. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's pimp our stuff real quick, and then we will get to the, the, the awesome that we have sitting on the couch right here. Uh, first off, we have the contest that's going on. Drill one. Custom. Custom pepper. Doesn't help to hold this up because it's in there, but we have <laughs> pictures rolling. Uh, enter to win this one-of-a-kind custom by Drill One. Uh, just post a picture of a custom you've made or a custom from Drill's site if you're a fan of customs but not necessarily a customizer yourself. Uh, it's that easy to enter the contest. Just post those up on the form. Deadline is February 2nd. It's coming right up. Oh, Drill One's sick. Oh, no. <laughs> wait. But don't worry, the, the custom isn't. It's sick in a good way? Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, it's the it's a good Oh, the sick. good sick. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Not down with the lingo. <laughs> uh, don't forget, you could still get a poster. Uh, one of the posters featuring artwork by Monster Forge, aka Charles Marsh. They are five dollars for the unsigned edition and ten dollars for the. There's twenty five hand signed and numbered edition. Hmm. Uh, there's actually only very very few left. There's oh. less than two. Wow. <laughs> get it. So That's get on it specific. now. <laughs> It is kind of specific. Uh, it's there, and that one is ten dollars plus two fifty shipping. So, get on it, toybreak.com. Click on the little button. All right, now we've kept the people in suspense okay. long enough. So over here we have the crazy force that is Castle Fort, right there. You might know that name from the last episode where we mentioned a book. Let's hold this book, book. up right here. This one's There's yours. I brought it for you guys. Oh, thank you so oh, much. Awesome. Da, 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 that da, is awesome. <laughs> Whoa, we got music even. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Paper Toy Monsters by Castle Fort. And uh, actually, we were flipping through. Ben had a copy of this, and we were flipping through that uh, last week. Actually, off the show. And um, I'm just gonna say right away, amazing. Like one of the things that pops out for me when I first saw this was, not only is it, it's got all the paper toys in there for you to cut out and everything, but it's even less work because pop out. they pop out. Yeah. That's and what I was gonna say. Bent almost like is, is pre for that. All you gotta do is fold them up and glue them. They're it's way easier than having to cut and screw. Yeah, I mean this is amazing. Yeah. Like I don't even cutting understand how you even part. get that to happen. Yeah. So hard. Yeah, cutting. I I almost take an hour of all, all of my they get toys. A, it takes forever. Because right? my, my hands after they're like on fire because <laughs> I, because it's Holding like so hard. it's like it's like oh my arm is cramping yeah. and stuff. Are you left-handed? <laughs> No, I'm right-handed. Oh, okay, because you held your left arm. One of the reasons <laughs> that I wanted to bring Coop, just despite just uh, aside from the fact that he's already awesome in so many other ways, but he's <laughs> definitely like the number one paper toy fan I know of, and um, he's also a character in the book. Him and his sister. Oh yeah. Oh cool. Yeah, where is he? Yeah, they are. I'll show you. And you had your own paper toy show too, right? Oh yeah, we bring the stuff. Um. This is Brian's paper toy for the uh, custom show. That's insane. Um, that's insane. So if you think that paper toys have to be boxy or simple, that is not true at all. <laughs> and then this is. Uh, ah, that's this goofy. is. Um, Don't look at that. That's a no, 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 no. <laughs> this is. Um, this is uh, from Alexander Gwynn. From Alexander Gwynn. She made it. Uh, she made it look like she had snow slippers and then um and, and then a little box fox. How did you even do that? The the little box fox. Oh the box fox? I printed out a really tiny one and I took I sat there cutting it out and taping you it. Really to, small you had to put miniature scissors too? I did. <laughs> little tiny I had to get somebody really tiny to cut it out and Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> so George's. we cannot forget about George's piece. Especially since it's the the one that's Fox not form. paper. Yeah. It's a form, it's not paper. <laughs> these, these it are, might look wood, but it's resin. These are all customs that we did for Cooper's first art show at Monkey King on his birthday last which summer. Was awesome. Which was awesome. So, uh, Thank kid, you guys for making... The boy inspires, that's for sure. <laughs> he does inspire. Thank you guys for doing it. And that's why I put him works. in the book. And this is the Monster Keepers. Can oh, that's that? awesome. Uh, that's, so 
the idea is that Cooper is wearing the costume and Bella's uh, the the monster costume and Bella's wearing the little hamster costume and you can see like so that's Cooper and Bella when they don't have their costumes on and, <laughs> and when, awesome. when when you put the costumes on you turn it around you can see that it's Cooper scaring his little sister because he's <laughs> hey hey <laughs> that's not me that's not me that's I know you and I know Bella that's, that's not the me. company that's the company. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. Trust me, him. I was I didn't want that either. <laughs> I I was like shocked because that's so cute. Why? I was like I was like shocked because Brian had never done anything like this before. It's just that it caught my mind when she when he made me all mischievous and all. I can see it in your eyes. You're a little mischievous. <laughs> is that oh, one of your <laughs> is that one of your little bunnies in the? Yeah, that's one. He's holding my yeah. nice bunny. One of your nice oh, bunnies. Bella's yeah. wearing one of my head case yeah. t-shirts. That's totally cool. Yeah, I'm a cross pr promoting marketing whore. <laughs> <laughs> so nice bunny. Uh, I can't imagine any of you don't know nice bunny, but that's uh, Brian Castleford's site mm, that that's you started. One of my that's sites. Your first mm -hmm. one of your sites. Nice bunny is um, has yet to even be. We're, we're, uh, we have big plans for Nice Bunny coming in the future, so I want to do some fun games and and, uh, and things with Nice Bunny. I haven't even begun to push that character. So. And that character was your first paper toy, right? Um, he was my first paper toy. That's yes. so cool. Um, yeah, he's been on the back burner for a while while I pursued some other things like the book, and my, uh, I have an iPhone app coming out. Um, Very cool. Whack oh. in the Box, which will be oh, out cool. this week I'll on the I, on that. the App Store. So, nice. Um, that's really cool, and that has. Uh, How do you find stuff like that? Do you just do you go to the app store and just type in "whack in a box" or what? Yeah, the... you could do that. Um, it'll show up in the new apps, you know, this week or whatever. Okay. But the cool thing about this app is that it not only has a little virtual version of you know monster that you can play with and whatever, but it also comes with like eight. You want to hold those up? Whoa. Comes with uh, a bunch of limit. Yeah, that's uh, crazy. What do you call it? Exclusive paper toys of the characters in the book. Um, Thumbs so, up! So you get like eight Look at that guy. characters, and there's gonna be new ones all the time. It's a cool little spider. So like this, you'll get the plans for this oh, if you sick. download the app. Uh huh. You get to nice. you download the Another right from the up. app, <laughs> and there'll be new new paper toys coming with that all the time. So that's a pretty cool thing. A little different. Nobody's done Love anything. The look of that. You actually get real toys cool with the application. To... So that's amazing. Yeah. So hopefully that'll. What a cool way to so make. So go it. buy that and support, and or you know it's only ninety nine cents, and you get free oh, updates nice. for like ninety nine cents. And then um. Yeah. Each one is 99 cents. Write me a nice review for it so it does well. <laughs> and then, all right, now I have another little something for you guys, too, real quick. Let me see. Hey, uh -oh. close your eyes. Close, oh. your, close eyes. your eyes. Uh -oh. close your Surprises eyes. are happening. So when, when, like well, actually, let me ask you about the app while you're doing this. Yeah. Um, so 99 cents gets you the app, and then whenever you do an update with a new paper toy, that's free on it's because you already have the app right like that's yeah you'll get free updates and free new paper toys and new you know we'll add to the app all the time new, that's awesome new animations what and about wow. paper toys that's done by other artists so, like that's oh my god <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> what? There you go. Are are, you? Are, these are all little Castle Ward toys. <laughs> and then this is little toys of your toys. So your toys have toys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you the, kidding? And here's the template. I made you a nice one. I signed it so you don't have to. Oh, Brian, that's And I'll give you the so template cool. so you can add it to your site for your fans if they want it. Oh, th that would be fantastic. Oh my god. Toy break paper toys. You could rip them. You could tear them. You could crush them. But you can't break them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys want these? <laughs> of course oh, they do. Man. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Brian. Yeah. Actually, we'll um, actually, uh, actually, tell me. I'll tell you a fun fact about this. Okay. It was the the chair and the table weren't oh, exactly made by Brian. That's right. But oh. they were the done. chair and the table, uh, the the couch and the table. I um out of I was I did this all today actually, so um <laughs> it was uh, I downloaded the couch and to save time and the table from uh, Matica dot com M A T I C A dot com. Um, Rad. It's uh, basically like a, a, a European football you know soccer like site like it's all about that stuff. Oh, interesting. And they have but they have these really cool little games and toys. The toys. They have pinball machine paper pinball machines and stuff some some fun stuff so oh, go check cool. that out. Um, I just discovered that today, actually. That was a pretty neat site. <laughs> That's Toys. amazing. So there you go. Oh That's incredible. God. And then, and then <laughs> you're Look holding it, a big, a big hammer. <laughs> that is what you hold. <laughs> the kind of hammer that Vikings hold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they say you can no flip these around George. depending on which side you want them to say when you make it. That's fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. um, I can't even say thank you enough. That's uh, so cool that you took the time to do that. That's so cool. <laughs> that's my pleasure. And you make toys <laughs> for the toys of the toys. Yeah. 
There's nice body that, again right there. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm speechless. I know. I'm glad you like them. Wow. All right, so. Oh my gosh. Okay, here, let's put that safe, somewhere safe. <laughs> Paper Toy Monsters is sold everywhere internationally. Oh, sick. Including um, Amazon. Amazon, so, Barnes and Noble, no matter where anywhere. Uh, giant Robot, you know, like all the, I think, you know, the stores are selling all the, the cool stores. And um, I was going to tell you that uh, I found out today that um, it's the number one paper toy. Or sorry, the number one paper craft book on Amazon.com already. Oh my gosh. And the, High five. And the number two kids craft book oh. like, total on Amazon. Wow. That's already. amazing. That's awesome. Congratulations. Well. And actually one of the things that you look at this <laughs> big thick book in my hand and you're like, oh, it's got to be like a $40 book. Mm -hmm. It's sixteen ninety five cover price. We yeah. have oh. Awesome. And oh, it's like eleven fifty on Amazon. Say, it's even cheaper on crazy. Amazon. And if you're really awesome, you'll go to castlefort.com and click on the books link and buy it through there on Amazon because it's the cheapest through there. And I get, I'm on the, uh, it's my associate link or whatever. So. Oh, okay, cool. So, so definitely so click through me a little more too, link which is cool to yeah. get it to Amazon. So um, that's important to do. And then a nice thing about the book too, real quick, is that the pages are all perforated as well, so they they rip out really easily. They just pull right out. Nice. If I wanted to pull it out, but I don't really want to. I see that. Yes. And then, um, so this is almost all, all the pages are almost all out of here already. And you can see it's still a nice book with all the stories and the characters. So even after you've pulled all the toys out, you still have a nice book intact. Where nice. a lot of them, you have to like cut up the book and it's like and really yeah, yeah. So, trash. So it's pretty cool. It's really colorful too. Yeah. Like you have a lot of colors going on. And it, the pages aren't just white with the character on it. There's like wallpaper designs behind it. And yeah, they did a nice job. And there's um, there's like ten blank t templates in the back, so you can of some of the characters in the books. So you can customize. You can you know illustrate on those as well. These guys here. Start making your own. It's really yeah. fun doing uh, the Halloweeny one. Uh, can I show them Halloweeny? Mm -hmm. Halloweeny so, is like the, one of the figures. Um, it's well, it's really it's they have the Halloweeny. One and it's so much fun because uh, because oh. it's you can almost do everything like popsicles. Here, why don't I show you the real ones? Oh in yeah! Here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I brought all these box. awesome. <laughs> There's a whole box of awesome over here. There's some toys Indeed. from it. I love this one. Oh, look at that! Uh, if you look on cool. the back, check it. <laughs> this is her. It's all fake, like a, wood, <laughs> it's all a fake. wooden figure. It's fake. Oh, That's this awesome. one has two mouths. Actually, those two have poems. I love the, Nom Nom and Horgu have have poems. Look at that awesome. I love the cut out, like the pop out paper. It's just, that's the best thing. It really oh. You see that under the bed? It's amazing. These are by Marshall Alexander, they're awesome. That's Matt Hawkins. Oh Matt Hawkins also is awesome. awesome. Here's another Matt Hawkins one. Oops. Oh that's another thing. Um, there's several artists in the book. Represented. Uh, right? Yeah, th sorry, there's there are 25 artists. Um, oh, he's got a uh, little okay, one inside you. his mouth. 25 artists. I curated the book, and uh, and I'm the author of the book, but um, and I'm I'm one of the artists. But we all did two paper toys, so there's funny, 50 though, paper toys, oh, okay. two by each artist. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty cool because there's all kind of styles. <laughs> this is Phil. He's a really <laughs> amazing paper story, toy artist. It's, it's this um, guy's a boxer. Oh, see? <laughs> he was fighting. Actually, it's a she. She was fighting. Are there she websites to all she the artists inside? They're all, yeah, links, you know, <laughs> websites to, and little bios on all the artists, so you can find all these guys. Um, I like it. This is Macula, also really great. They're all really great. There's so many amazing toys in there. And, um, yeah, and another great place to find all of those artists and more is um, nicepapertoys.com. Uh, there's, we have over 3,000 members, and it's growing exponentially daily, so... Come join us and make some paper toys. They're awesome. And that's the crazy thing is you don't need, you know, money or anything to get it. You just need to have a vision. the desire to right. sit down <laughs> yeah. and make a few paper toys. Try creating your own. Yes. Now, yeah, it's when fun. you, uh, I was just out of curiosity because I've never actually made my own paper toy. How do you, like, what's your process You've when you never sit down? Made like, I've put together put other together. people's paper few, toys, but I've few, never designed um, one. Oh, so what's the question? What's the process? How do you, yeah, like, how do you start designing a paper toy? Go download uh, Adobe Illustrator. Um, okay. You just, you, if you see this, like, shape, like a square or something, you just slide it, and while you press uh, Control, <laughs> wait, or Shift, it does it 
perfect it doesn't square. just it does like a perfect square and okay. then you just keep on doing it until you but it ta-da. but that's how to use the software but i think the question really is more like how to because i mean you wouldn't start an illustrator unless there's a couple ways to go about it if you start if you have your own character that you want to create right. that's one good way where because you now you have certain i'm sorry I need limits to that you need to <laughs> that you need to Fine, you know what I mean. You have to okay. If that's the character you want to model, right? How am I going to make that shape for the head, or how am I going to, you know, whatever? And of course, then you can, you know, the head could be very boxy, or it could be really complex, depending on what you right. how you want to design it. But then the the other issue is, um, or you could start and design a car- a, a template, just a shape, and then create characters on that template, Based just like a type. dunny or something, where okay. it could be oh, anything. Cool, but um, there's not really, I mean, some people use software and whatever, but I mean, honestly, like me, it's just a lot of pa- pieces of paper folding and kind of seeing kind of just trial and error, what kind like, of shape you can get. And yeah, just trial and error. The and then, easiest one to get is probably the square or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. because, um, because you know, some, may, probably I, I've seen a lot of the Dunny templates before and they look like it's done on Adobe Illustrator and they... Well, right, but once just, once you have your, like your, your actual shape, then you can go and take that... Sh- you, then you take your pieces, and then you want to recreate them in Illustrator, or for, you know, most okay. Illustrator is the best um, to do with that um, a vector program. And you you recreate the shapes of your templates in there, and then that's how you get your nice clean template. So you kind of you've already by before you even get to Illustrator, you've already kind of built the model, and then you could take it apart, lay it out, and look at the shapes. That yeah, you've done. definitely. Okay. I've, I I I'll end up with like five or six you know blank prototypes that right. are you know just keep getting tighter and better as you know you keep okay. making them until you get one that you really love, and then you. And then you re- recreate it in in digital form. So now a lot of the things with paper toys is it's free. Like people will put them up on their site or mm-hmm. then, you know, it's free. How, like, obviously you have to get into making a book before you can start. Like how do, how do you sustain, how are you, how can you sustain yourself on giving away free toys all the time? Um, well, or obviously you don't hobby, sustain like, yourself just, on giving away free right. anything. Um, but, you know, I mean, I guess... A lot of the artists, I mean, first of all, you know, they're not trying to sustain themselves with it. It's their art form and their hobby. And, you know, we okay. love sharing the toys and whatever. And, I mean, it's a it's a great way to bring people to your site to get the toys. So that in itself is good traffic and good market. You know, so yeah. like to help maybe you can sell other artwork or things through your site okay. that way. Speaking of What's that, this? some paper toy artists actually don't share their templates. It's all one of one and stuff. Uh, some oh. one in one paper toys are... Um, are like um is like this one it's like it's one in one but right so you but built it is, there's no but this is right. in a good way this is this is one of a kind this is actually one of a kind right. but some artists actually um some paper toy artists uh some of their like greatest paper toys ever and they don't share them online well or like some people like shin tanaka he'll do series just like a limited like a you know blind boxes or whatever mm-hmm. and he'll make his little toys only available for a certain amount of time that's okay some but number. some yeah. paper toys oh, artists, things like that okay some paper toy artists just post them on their blog and they don't yeah. even share it <laughs> i actually have um only one at the moment but i have one of my paper toys for sale on my site um, oh cool for like five bucks but it's uh, the riot cop i don't know if you ever seen my riot cop yes um so uh you know, and I made that one, you know, for, you know, that one took a bit, you know, it was a bit more work and it's right. like a little, and I just want it to be a little more exclusive and like, you know, um, now not everybody probably loves the idea that you, you know, you sell, but it's like, it's the Still thing. $5. It's like, you know, when I give away so many toys, it's like, right. you know, I, you know, I think that artists like should be able to. It is kind know, of a nice way that if someone has gotten so many toys, if they've downloaded so many of your things, that's a good way to give back to you by saying, oh, you know what, I'll, I'll right. donate $5 to get the one that I have to pay for. Right. Well, plus also like, I mean, when you're giving away, you know, the ones unlimited to whoever, you know, it's yeah. like they become, you know, they can become throwaway after a while. You know what I mean? Right. Where if it's one that, you know, becomes a little more like only people who bought it at that, you know what I mean? When yeah. it was available or whatever, then, you know, it becomes a little more I special, actually hopefully. have something uh, to say. Well, what? Well, um, well, now I forgot it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it's pretty much pointless. All right. Bring it back <laughs> up when you remember. All right. So, so before mm-hmm. before we move on to yeah. the next segment, uh, let's wrap up. Aside from each other, because mm-hmm. you guys are both awesome paper toy artists yourselves. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Um, what other paper toy artists would you suggest somebody who's interested Ooh, in checking out? Oh, I actually have one. Um, Ooh, tell us. Uh, Cubo Toys. He, mm. he, um, he has some uh, toys on there that are just outstanding. And, like, he's made a toy called Sandy Jr. 
it comes with a little box and then you can make it's a sandy junior it's it's cool but it's very difficult so you'll have to um make brian's paper toys or alexander gwynn's paper toys for your paper toy my paper toys <laughs> <laughs> actually to tell you something the box box template of this that's mm -hmm. not really my template it's macula's template oh yeah from macula d no that's not true that's not true. Really? Cooper designed. You designed, I designed the toy. The I designed the toy. And Macula made the template. It nice and you, clean on the thing, but yeah, it was still was your template. Yeah. It was a collaboration, right. really. A yeah. lot of people actually didn't. It, it, my my old template was really bad. It was like <laughs> it wasn't even it wasn't even a full template. It was just square, square, square. But the basic <laughs> idea and design was there for sure. Um, Don't sell yourself short. Yeah, right that's there. exactly right. And then actually, I was just like. Shin Tanaka, and then I just, I was like, I I only kept it for like one more week because I, I couldn't really s stand stand it and, <laughs> and stuff. It was just, it was just like the worst template in the universe. So I was oh, like, come on. So I was, so I was, uh, so I was like, um. So I was posting on Nice Paper Toys since that was where I posted the template of Box Box, the mm -hmm. first one. Uh, but first I keeping all the uh, old ones in my computer and then so um and then I was like only keeping it for one more week and then and then I was like and then when I and then I just deleted that post and then I was like oh oh <laughs> the, the paper the, the first version of box box it's it's he died. Oh. <laughs> and then the, the little emoticon with the tears dripping down. And <laughs> <laughs> that's what Super KB does. Sometimes he sneaks up on you. <laughs> um, uh, that's Super KB? That's Super KB. That's yeah. Super KB. <laughs> so, um, uh, you guys should see the collection so, in this. <laughs> so, it's incredible. So, and then, you know what else is funny? Hmm. Um, while I was doing that post, I, I, I was also a, uh, was it from this other site there was music and then it, it was like dun 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 and it so <laughs> sounded so sad that i just wanted to put it on there since it would sound very sad so i just put it on there because that's how you felt right it's how it's how i felt when i deleted it at first i was Aww. like at first i i um i was feeling excited to delete it because it was one of my worst paper toy templates on the planet but even painting dude <laughs> I, I've been doing some goofy stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't like talking about it. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Uh, um, have you guys seen the art, the art cards, the artist trading the art cards, cards that they have number now? two. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the art cards. Cooper is gonna is one of the artists in the next oh, series. Nice high five. How about that? Nice work on number one though. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Nice work on number one. That's pretty cool. So art hustle series two. If you catch this guy right here. <laughs> right. Oh, right. right there. Oh. That happened. Art hustle. You should call this guy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that jealous at all that he got uh, Art hustle. <laughs> no call about this that. guy right here. No. Simeon. Call this guy Ryan. right here. Stop. Go to castlefort.com. All right, all right, all right. All right and actually, um, speaking of castlefort.com, yeah. um, what's the main site that you want people to go to to link to all your other sites? Like, do you have castlefort.com? Uh, is your hub? It's my hub. Pretty it's your much. hub. Um, <laughs> and then nicepapertoys.com is great. Also, to go and check out for paper toys, um, you can follow me on. Should I just give you that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Your Twitter yeah. and Facebook um, and all that yeah. stuff. Uh, follow ca uh, Facebook slash follow Castleport. Um, what else? You can go to wackapps.com, W-A-C-K-A-P-P-S.com to check out Whack in the Box. You can go to nicebunny.com to check out my nice bunny stuff. You can go to rainbrows.com, R-A-I-N-B-R-O-S.com. Those are my new little... These are the rainbows right here. I'm still oh, cool. doing some stuff with those guys, but I have some cool prints and stuff for them. But um, yeah, I have uh, lots of sites. So, but you can find them all from castlefort.com. And buy the book. Go to castlefort.com and then click the on the link really to awesome. buy this book because it's really rad. Best and it's deal super in town. Really, cheap on Amazon. really cheap. Yeah. Great for kids of all ages. Yeah, exactly. It's, Who would like that? Adults of all ages. The only, well, the only paper toy in <laughs> there that is not pretty age. much for kids is uh, is the Zom Bunny. But it looks like Alex Party a little. <laughs> like Alex Party or yeah, one of the things Alex Party Look, let me draws. show you. Let me show you. Uh, it's right. Yeah. Oh, 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 I missed it. Right there. 
Oh yeah, okay, I can see that. Like right there. Don't look at it. You think I it's not good for at least you scary? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um Actually I just got I'm a sorry, text. Nick Kibble. Uh, I just got a text from my buddy who they, they I gave them a copy of the book. They have um, a two year old and he texted me saying um, he thinks Icy Huggy, who's on the cover, is a dog. He said Aww. he uh, he likes Zom Bunny. He said and really? and he Good said he let out his, his best growl for when he saw Confetti Yeti, which is my character right here. Aww. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Daddy uh, ages so two and up. Two and up. No. <laughs> well, they don't have to make the toys. Right. They could look at them that's and right. you could read them the stories. Yeah, yeah, that's it's also good campfire stories. Oh, <laughs> like Take a camp especially uh, maybe uh, well not song bunny um, because it's like but actually it's a funny one because uh Zom, it's song bunny, but then they 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 describe it like um like a, an actual zombie but they were like I'm hunting for brains. Of cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> so get the book and read the story. There you go. That's a must. Yes, um, that's a must. One billion thumbs up. Wow, that's a lot of thumbs. Two, we... A few minutes later, I was doing one one thumbs up, two thumbs up. Now it's one billion thumbs up. <laughs> you just that's a great leap ahead. <laughs> Should we move on to blind box? We should. Uh, speaking of musts, must we must have blind box? Do you guys know what time it is? All right, so you guys ready for some blind box? Yeah. Uh huh. All right, we have uh, we picked this one for you guys because we know you like building things. <laughs> oh, cool! <laughs> Thanks. These are Kinder Surprise. Um, we actually have one box from the UK and one box from Canada, so we could see what the difference is. Hey, oh. Canada! So see that one has some in in French yep, on that, it that there. Looks cool. Um, they yeah, have them right? everywhere, you but know, here pretty much. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, Doctor A it's just sent this one over to us. It looks us, like so. a Nintendo DS. They're awesome. My German friend used to bring me those and. They are cool. There's lots of fun hey, stuff. Am I so open, to open that thing. Now? Yeah. Open yeah. it up. Let's rip them open. Here. Oh, thank you. Take one of those. Take so one now, of those. They're all the same. So you've had these before, right, Brian? <laughs> uh huh. Okay. And Cooper, have you ever had one before? Oh, oh yes. Oh wow, it's already broken. That so. happens in shipping when you get them from. Um, <laughs> and there you go. See, so, you know, if they put them inside these eggs, we should mm. be able to get away mm. with it here, huh? That's mm. really hot. Delicious. Little white chocolate, little milk Ooh, chocolate. Look at that. Oh. oh, toys and candy. I mean, mm, how could you go wrong? So awesome. So again, it's got the little thing inside. Pop it open. Mm. Mm. This one is from a series called Dog Stories. Mm. Maybe it's a show in the UK. I, I don't know. Mine. Do you think I can fit this whole thing on now? Mm-hmm. You do? <laughs> I think so too. Oh no. Mm. Oh, mine doesn't have to actually get built. Let's it's see, just, just sitting in a little chair. I'm not saying I think it's a great idea. <laughs> mm. That work. <laughs> I got a little dog sitting in a chair. Oh, He's cool. Got a hat on and earphones, and a I gold bling him. bone. Right on. <laughs> okay, how do these work? I got some crazy. Oh, you got instructions this? with yours? Like, the, there's usually like a paper. Yeah, in there's there. instructions. <laughs> yeah, just pop. It. I got Dan Let's Dotson. I'm kind of one of those people that prefers Let's to just it figure it out. Just go for it. Yeah. But I might have to read the instructions oh, on this no. one. Oh, this is New Toys. This is New Toys 2011. Sweet. I got a puzzle. Oh, that's a stinker. Like <laughs> that's a stinker of a toy. That's not a good toy. <laughs> I actually think that's a good one. Do you? <laughs> wow, these don't even look like they do in the illustration. That's totally... But I see what's going on here. Okay. But it has two little... I got it. ...lithograph things. I don't get it. Where, where's the oh, head like a Looney to Tunes, huh? That oh, is. it is. Oh, oh yeah, Bugs Bunny. What'd you get? Here. It's a puzzle. Oh, look at like... those little lenticular dudes. Yeah, lenticulars. Cool. Oh, this is this is cool. Look. It's a oh, little guy nice. sitting down and then... Holding up a oh, sign. Oh, it's like a little dragon thing. Yeah, it is a little dragon thing. Oh, you know what? You know what sticker it's supposed to be. What'd you get? Ta-da! <laughs> nice. Little dragon dude. Oh, huh? it's a little genie. Yeah, let's hold that up. Fun. Who sent you these? Uh, Doctor A sent us the Who's ones Dr. from the UK. Hey, Who is thank you, Doc. <laughs> he Doctor. is a um, well. He does several toys. Like uh, he just had the Humphrey Mooncalf release. Okay, release. I know who that is. And That's the coin. Awesome. The and coin. He did Sorry, the coin Dr. from and he does a, a bunch <laughs> of amazing, like, coin Victorian uh, type of customs. Mm -hmm. Awesome. 
And the Mectorian. Sorry, mm-hmm. I've got chocolate all over my teeth. <laughs> mm, this is delicious. So you get treats and toys on toy break. <laughs> <laughs> you got a super complex one over there. It's a little crazy. <laughs> I hope it's going to fl- like fly by itself when it's done. <laughs> Oh, maybe I did it backwards. I think I got it. Yeah, okay. Coming right up. So I was reading in your, uh, in the About You, in your book, that you grew up playing with, like, Lego, and I, I've read at one point that you started creating your own monsters out of Lego and Play-Doh mm-hmm. kind of creation. That's so cool. Yeah, I definitely. So obviously you've been building things. Oh, yeah. I, Legos were Since by far my, were my favorite. I still can't get in a, go through a Target or somewhere without checking out all the Legos on the shelf. I don't really buy them anymore, but I love them. They're awesome. (laughs) And I love what people are doing with them. In fact, and I just heard, oh, was that on your show I heard? About Legoland? Yeah. Star Wars? (laughs) That sounds awesome, man. Yeah, I'm really excited to see that. Whoa. It's a crazy top thing. What's it going to do? I was going to give you this one, but this is perfect. Look at that top. Whoa. Wow. (laughs) Random weird things you get in Kinder Eggs. Who knew the size How of that How do they fit so, that yeah. thing inside that egg, man? That's crazy. <laughs> so there we go. Kinder eggs. Shall we Andre reviews? That looks like the... Remember the emoticon? Is there another one? Oh, yeah. Can I open this one? Sure. Go for it. That does look like it an emoticon. It looks like the emoticon guy. Do you guys remember those at Comic-Con? No, I don't. Emotes or emotic Emotes. That was emotes. it. Oh, I know hey, can you all put this on? Sure. I have no idea what it's supposed to be on for. They were crazy little guys, and I still see them at Comic Con once in a while. But it was like you sign up with your name and email, and they would give you a free toy, like a free little figure. Hey, can I have the so uh, us and puppy all friends one, would like run over run out? I think Ooh, this one they all gone. Yeah, they're, they're all. Oh, gone. dang it! <laughs> oh, this guy's cool right here. Look at this dude. Look at the hot dog. It's a hot dog. I thought it was a hot dog, but it's. Oh, he's flocked too. Oh, oh sick! Look how awesome I'm that is. <laughs> I'm trading you. That? Impromptu trading party. He's I'm so trading purple you. Purple flock. He's really sweet. Please, Look, can he trade you? <laughs> please, come on. I don't please. know what you're talking about. This one's oh. mine, dude. Yeah. Please, can I trade? On the way to him, he's really great. Wow. Yeah. Man, Isn't that nice? This is actually. Really That's a good. quality little toy right there. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. Like. The the variety of things you can get. I have a piece? Wow, I want this so bad, but here you go. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you want? You some want chocolate? the candy here? Oh, thanks. I didn't. No, that one's empty, but the candy's oh, in here. The chocolate's the good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually. Did you see how excited he was for the toy, and then chocolate. he got oh, like good. a little less excited for the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> That's a true Remember toy fan thing? right here. What's with the little plate thing? I don't know. I think it's. Is there a sticker? I, I bet it comes with stickers. Mm-hmm. They always come with stickers, right? Mm-hmm. What is it? <laughs> Food. <laughs> sure, why not? Cool. Oh, it's like a turkey leg and a strawberry? Uh-huh. I eat those together all the time. Strange little toys. Very cool. Here, do you want to put the sticker on? Mm-hmm. Plastic to puzzle yeah, to the dog in a chair. That was the dog in the chair. Very no, cool. No, this is yours, Brian. Where's your other... Weren't there th- th- don't you have more dogs? Didn't you open from a dog? Yeah, but there was, uh, for some reason, two of them yeah. were dragons. Where the, oh, this guy? That, no, yeah, that's mine. That one and that one came from the dog box. Really? And then the top and the puzzle. That is totally random. Isn't and that then, weird? So what's on the box doesn't really <sighs> doesn't tell really you what's matter. inside. So, yeah, it's, apparently it's a surprise to the packers as well as <laughs> the unpackers. <laughs> oh, no, look. Find one dog story toy in this pack. Oh, so one so out of three. now you gotta buy, like, yeah, that's smart. Hey, that's kind of cheating, I think. This is really cute. Did you well, see my new flock, my flock wax? No. My wax, I don't know if you ever saw my little whack yeah. action figure, mm-hmm. her yeah. character, um, by Pretty and Plastic, Julie B. She's awesome. She um. You flocked ones? Yeah, she's doing flock. We're doing flocked ones coming soon. Nice. Really Actually, this one kind of looks weird. <laughs> Look at that one. Bizarre thing. <laughs> bizarre thing. New toys. But this it's is bizarre. really a cool. Fe- Do you feel how? Yeah. It doesn't feel like your normal flock. It's like moss. Yeah, it's almost like moist, Wait, but the next not. One? Moist. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh, let's go ahead and start our reviews now. Reviews. Reviews. Cooper, you want to tell us about our first review? Star Wars Vinyl Mation by Disney. Characters. <laughs> by Disney. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that funny. Why is that so funny? It's really only funny that because you it's think it's so funny. funny. That's what's funny. What? Straight. 
You want me to do it? <laughs> oh, I'll do this one. The suspense is killing me. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll skip. Okay. You don't really want to know Star about Star Wars Final Mission. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just Just do skip this the one. characters. Straight face. Okay. I can't do it. Okay, Brian, you just do it. Uh, the Star Wars Vinyl Mation by Disney characters in this series include C-3PO, R2-D2, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Luke, Leia, Lando, Lando. sorry, Lando, is it Lando? Lando, Lando? Lando, I don't know. Yoda, Boba Fett, the coolest, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. I cannot agree Chaser with and Variant, Super Chaser, $10 at the parks. At the parks? Any, Vin- any Disney at Disneyland. Park. Oh, Disney $10 World. at the, okay, at the... Okay. And uh, VinylNation.net. It says no exchanges, no refunds or exchanges. Oh, look how cool these are. Oh, wow. This is sick. Here's the Stormtrooper one. <gasps> Stormtrooper! Oh, Uh-oh. they're heavy. I actually have oh, these are cool. guys, so I do you? Oh, oh, which ones do you have? Oh, is that I have, Chewbacca? I have Mike yeah. Wazowski. Yeah. I have Mike Wazowski. I have Mike Wazowski. the <laughs> straw, with a, <laughs> straw with a little uh, glass in Glass milk. Glass. Yeah, a glass of milk, the and then I let me think of my other one while you guys go. So here's so are we giving reviews on these? Our yes. opinions? Yeah, this is this is going to be for a review. Um, this is what the series looks like. If you want to see the rest of them, um, and actually one of the things uh, these Scott uh, Scott who's been on the show before Scott Tolson uh, actually picked these up for us and um, oh he's nice. One of the he's things. Nice that we noticed when we were opening them on the bottom is there's these little underneath there's a price tag right here and underneath the price tag there's a little stamped number Mm -hmm. each one of these numbers corresponds to a figure um we only we opened three Uh, oh actually we opened four but there was two so we're starting a cheat sheet Uh so like S one L single handedly destroying the blind, the blind box, box movement. In, <laughs> We're trying. No, <laughs> maybe they're all secretly marked somewhere. S one L was Yoda. It's possible. S one C was Chewbacca, and S one J was the stormtrooper. So if you're looking for any three of those, pick up the little, pick up the little, mm. or not one of those three. And, and what's the cheat. mystery one? Do we know? That is the Obi Wan. It's like the ghost Obi Wan. Okay. So it's see like through. clear, see through blue. Okay. Wait, which is the Obi Wan? They don't show the, him. The, oh, the it's a mystery one. figure. Yeah. yeah. I see. Well, yeah, go ahead. So we've talked about Vinyl Nation before. People know that we're not the biggest fans. Mm-hmm. What do you guys the, think? Actually, uh, you know, um, you know that some people are not big fans of Dunnies or K Robot anymore. Definitely. But but um I'm actually a big fan of Vinyl Nation. Yeah. I know you've talked about the uh Vinyl Nation being a plush, which actually cracked me up a little. <laughs> Which I was like, ho, 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 and all, all that kind of <laughs> stuff. And I was like, he, he, he. Like, okay. like, like the, like, um, what like a book by, by Lemony Snicket. I, I, it's just, it's. I'm sure well, a lot of logos under here. There's a lot of logos. And this <laughs> wow. is, there's that's dozens of, of these series. Toys. Dozens. Toys. Yeah. They're just coming out all the time. Yeah. That's, I think that's, that's one of the things that's a turnoff. That's my Mike problem Sullivan. with them. But <laughs> Mike it, Sullivan. Uh, it's put together with. Both of the monsters, oh, Mike, Mike and Sully. And Sully. <laughs> but if you were going to ask me about the toy in general, mm-hmm. as a standalone item, I think this is a really, it's a really nicely done piece. It's heavy. It's yeah. heavy. It feels like substantial, and the quality is good. Oh man! But his, I think that personally, I think the Stormtrooper is really... pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Boba Fett looks awesome, it's and Darth Vader giraffe. looks really awesome. Um, I think the, from the looks of the rest of them on the Maybe. box, that was gonna be not awesome. Not as awesome. <laughs> not a fan. I can't <laughs> believe what they did to Chewbacca. On, that's just like, blasphemy. I mean, that's not IGD. Chewbacca. No, yeah, at all. It looks like an Ewok. So yeah. Um, by the way, no Ewoks in this series. Cool, I'm out. There could be. That's a kind of Star Wars series too. Don't worry. They gotta <laughs> save somebody. Yeah, right. I think Ewoks. the humans look terrible. Yeah. Um, but the yeah, humans are actually very cartoony. So. Yeah. The Wait. only one that I'm actually disappointed of is Darth Vader. It just, it, this, the smicker, the smicker in his eyes, it just isn't the best. It's just... The snicker? The I snicker, look awesome. at the snicker. Did you see on here? Well, now cool, that I man. see it, it's it's pretty much okay. But the but the one that, uh, the... Uh, I think Boba Fett, Darth, and... Yeah, I could even do without the Stormtrooper. He's not as cool as he should be, but... He's Every nice stormtrooper, huh? he's nice and shiny. He's Every nice. Storm... He just doesn't look quite. I don't know, a little too cute. Actually, for my every stormtrooper <laughs> that I see, I love it, and this is one that are pretty I, awesome. And this is one of the stormtroopers that I. It's kind of hard to go wrong with a stormtrooper. 
It's 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 very hard. But this this is definitely That's... way wrong. What? It doesn't it just it's just something that doesn't look right about it's a little it. Look more like a dog than Chewbacca. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. I kind of get it. <laughs> you see the fuzz right there? Yeah. yeah. Chewbacca oh, almost needs his own custom, like his own head super, shape. You see, you know, you know. Oh yeah. I don't think yeah, you know the fuzz down there. Oh, oh, oh. Well. So that's Final Mation. That's how we feel. I actually really, I like the stormtrooper design on this one because I like the. It's yeah, the stormtrooper. He's kind of wacky looking. Good. He's yeah. he's got like weird like shaky lines and I don't know. It's kind of cool looking. coming for you. Yeah, he's pretty cool. But right, I, we I have really want the fat. So let's we get on to this. What do we got next? Uh, we, we've got Alice in Wonderland. Well, Alice in Wonderland action, action figures by Medicom. Seven inch scale ultra detail figures from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland. Around $9 to $20 each online. $20. Yeah, they, they vary drastically depending on where you buy them. So always look for a deal. It's... Wow, that's very like a statue. That's not a toy. Not really an action yeah, figure so, so want, much. Where, so it's ultra detailed. Okay. But if it's an action figure, it needs to have action. Right? I, don't I like your little it gloves. I mean, well, yeah, it's nicely done. Nothing. Did you guys see the movie? She wearing little heart panties. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, wah! <laughs> this is very much not action. No. There's no articulation at all. It's really? a statue. It's a PVC statue. Yeah. Actually, it's Medicom, so... It it's by Medicom. Does, it says ultra detail figure, not action figure. It looks great. They look great. It but, is an ultra detail figure. I mean, if okay. you... But, it's, it's Medicom. Non-action. It's Medicom, though. Medicom does a lot of <laughs> oh, that... Of Medicom does a lot of that uh, special... Does a lot of that special <laughs> stuff where they do like a... Ooh. That's stinky. Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> actually, there's one figure that I smelled before. It was um, it was actually a um. I went to uh, Sugoi Life. You you like that place? It has a lot mm -hmm. of that Japanese figures and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, so they once had a figure. They had. I got two Dragon Ball Z figures. They were really cheap, twelve bucks. Nice. They were, and they were like this tall. They were like really cheap. Well, what do you think about these toys? I was, but yeah, they, they're <laughs> really good. They're detailed, and I'm actually telling a story about this smell. Um, uh, so come on, Brian. Okay, so um, so when I got home, I opened them up, and I I, I saw your statement. Um, uh, and I I heard about your statement. Ooh, smells like fun. And then uh, and then when I smelled it, it was like it smelled like barf. Oh. That's not fun. I don't <laughs> like that one. <laughs> That's the opposite like, of fun. And I was like, Ugh! I was about to throw up, and then I just, and then a few minutes later, I felt, I felt clear, and I was like, oh man, am I gonna put this in my room? <laughs> and then I was like <laughs> thinking for a second, and I was like, since we have a gallery downstairs, I was like, oh yes, and then I was. I'm um, asking my dad, like, oh, can I put these figures downstairs in the art gallery? And then he was like, yes! Oh. And then so we can put these on top, and then I put flowers near there so they don't smell oh, that perfect. bad. He's oh, he's got, got tiny feet. feet. How cute is that? <laughs> that got even better. Look at how awesome his little feet are. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty good feet detail. That's it's pretty so good feet cute. detail. Speaking of good detail, I think these things... They're actually very nice. Oh, he doesn't smell either. Pretty nice. Yeah, I the mean, good thing about smell is it goes away pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I think but the, that the Dragon Ball Z figure is yeah, they're awesome. That fast. Definitely kudos to the sculptors. I mean, yeah. look at the laces even on those boots and stuff. And the stripes crazy. on the yeah, pants actually look pretty good. It's crazy. And the printing in the folds is it's pretty spectacular. Yeah, I think the details are really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I the only too bad the movie is. wasn't very good. The <laughs> the problem is that um very nice though that the back of this the uh. The wristbands, it looks like it's all printed on there. They should have like sculpted a part for the wristbands or something. It's it looks oh, printed. Oh I see what you're saying, yeah. Mm. There's not a sculpted printed. there's, there's not, not a sculpted mm. detail there. Yeah, that's the only problem about Good that. Good catch. One. Hmm. But yeah, alright. Well that's if the movie. I, wouldn't let it sway from I actually it, never if you saw like the those. Mad Hatter. Um Yeah, I I gotta agree with George. The the printing on this is spectacular. Mm how they got to print on this and it must have been really difficult yeah i mean look at all the little colors on all the little spindles in there and i everything. know how'd they get to do that under the under the hand too yeah 
under the hand. The, That's really yeah. nice. That explains I don't, I don't why it's wanna, twenty dollars. I don't even want to think about <laughs> the production. <laughs> The poor people having to paint those little dots on there. And then let's do this. Let's wrap this up with this one more. Uh, what do you have? This is Waffle by mm. Zone Industries. Cool. Uh, we've actually talked about Zone Industries before, and this is another. This is the second in the series of. I think there's three total. I believe so. Is this a TV show? Uh, no. It's, this know. is art by Robert Curie, and, th and this is his Fufnik Universe. And yeah, you can check out ZoneIndustries.com. Oh, this is a good no figure. twist ties. That's awesome. I love it. Wow, yeah, this is a good figure. What is he he's supposed to be? He's awesome. It's like a little all turtle. Cuban stuff. Mm -hmm. I that's what I like about it. It's, mm -hmm. it's you're into just, cubes, right? I'm into cubes. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 like be it's, a good paper. It tour, doesn't man. have to be Ooh, yeah. like well, it doesn't have to be like this. Yeah. It it's this and it's Ooh, so good. rad. Just look at its just own. look at its head and look at the back of it. Such good detail. Whoever sculpted this. You are a genius. <laughs> you are a genius. We found something Easy. that Cooper likes. Look at that. You guys are a genius. It is kind of like a vinyl paper toy almost. Like it's, it's like, yeah, like the shape. This is the world of the characters. Did you already read the oh, we did. Yeah. stuff about it? Does he have a comic book? Oh boy? man, uh, a toy box. there isn't really anything more on the box that says anything. I guess you could check out zoneindustries.com and Zone out industry more. in in this industries. Oh, I can make it look like it in the box. So it's got two points of articulation, just the two arms, right? Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much good enough. Oh no, absolutely. Because mm. because if really the head move moves the head. and it's it's see look right there. Actually there's something I wanna tell you about that. You know, the the reason why it's not this isn't movable is mm -hmm. because it has a curve right there and it's right there. If you move it, it his head will break off. Probably. If Look. it's a flat, but if it's flat, then its head could probably move. Oh, I see what you mean. You're right. It's cool. Yeah, it would pop off when you turned it because it's. I curved. like it, and it's got very minimal, um, you know, minimalist. Very minimalist. Very minimal paint applications, which also means they're pretty well done, mm -hmm. nice and clean. Stands. Effective. <sighs> Using paint effectively, I think that's a key to a good toy. Yeah. Definitely. That's, that's, one of the reasons oh. I don't, that's one of the reasons I don't do a lot of <sighs> customs. Yeah. <laughs> My painting is not that up to par. Oh, I bet it is. Uh, not, to, not for me. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. It's okay. I, I just got something weird on my thumb. <laughs> and you. All right, so that's all we have to review today. So, thank events. You so much. events, happenings, Let's do it. Events. Stuff to do. Uh, first up in events, uh, please draw with me. Join Andrew Bell for an evening of collaborative Ooh. drawing fun at Kid Robot New York in New York City, Aww. New York, on January 27th from <laughs> 6 to 8 p.m. Creaturesinmyhead.com for more information. Creaturesinmyhead.com. Come do a show in L.A., Andrew Bell. I know, we Andrew. Love you, dude. Um, can I read this one? Sure. Um, please. Actually, I have, well, okay. Um, Super 7 One-Offs Custom Show. Over 30 artists premiere person visions incorporating Super 7 and Gargamel toys at Super 7 in San Francisco, California, opening January 29th from 6 to 9 p.m. The show is cash and carry, so get there early. Super7store.com. Perfect. Yeah. What, so, what custom, so what customs are they doing? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to wait for the show to see. I actually go to San Francisco a lot, but uh, I can't. I don't. I don't know. It costs a lot of money to go there. And it's true. Yeah. Um, you will have to wait for one of their shows in L.A. You want me to get Toy Apocalypse? Sure. All right, and finally, of course, you've heard it here before, but Toy Apocalypse is coming up. It's on the horizon. Uh, the four, this is a Four Horsemen retrospective presented by Toy Tokyo Underground. The show will chronicle more than a decade of toy design wow. from the Four Horsemen at Toy Tokyo in New York, New cool. York, from February uh -huh. 11th to 17th. Uh, they will have available for sale the extremely limited black and white versions of their most recent release, Scarabus, Lord of the Resurrected. Awesome. <laughs> have you seen it? It's really cool. Yeah. They also have the limited edition poster uh, that oh. is signed by artist Nathan Barch and the Horsemen. So also everybody cool. involved has a signature on there. And you can check out fourhorsemen.biz. They also have those really cool, I saw you had one of them, the little skeleton dudes. The oh, the timekeeper. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I really yeah. like their timekeeper. Yeah. They have a lot of, they just have everything the Horsemen do. With and those are like 10 bucks. Yeah. yeah. I'm totally buying How those. How are those not <laughs> sold so, out? They're so I sweet. I have no idea. Yeah. 
No idea. How much are they? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten, ten for the little, little skeleton the ones, they're really cool. It's really detailed too. Yeah. Oh really? With a big. Show me, show ones. me that too. We will. Yeah. We will show you all these things. All right. So that's it. Uh, thank you so much, you guys, for being on the show. Castlefort, that's Brian Castlefort, everyone. Castlefort.com. Super Cooper over here. Do you have a, a website you Where want to tell people about? Oh, Where do people find I. You? I have a Facebook site. I have a few blogs, but I never use them. Okay. Um, <laughs> we all have a few blogs. We never uh, use. <laughs> go supercooper.blogspot.com. Um, toyboombox.blogspot.com. Wow. Uh, I think it's supercooperart.blogspot.com. <laughs> and then my Facebook page. How do you, you get just all this? You could just search up Cooper Barella. All and right. And then you'll... You'll find a picture of my custom Omi for the Omi show. It's this, it's a, um, if you need help, uh, trying to find what it looks like, it's a, um, go to monkeyking.com. It's my box box and then the Omi attached to it. Perfect. Nice. It's called the Laughing Monkey King and his, and his, uh, servant. Nice. I like the way, you, I like that title. Very descriptive. All right, so that's it for episode 153. Awesome. Don't forget you can save money with coupon code TOYBREAK10 for 10% off at Tilted.com and t- coupon code TOYBREAK, all one word, for 20% off at FunkRush.com and OctoberToys.com. Of course, you can visit TOYBREAK.com by itself for show notes from all the shows, from this show, catch all the things that we've talked about, all the wonderful sites that these two have been wonderful enough to share with us. You can watch the episodes. You can download the episodes. You can join the contest on the forum. You can download paper toys of us. What? Paper toys. That's right. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, now you have three different sets of paper three toys of sets. yourselves. There's so we've no got excuse. Alexander Gwynn, Zakane, and Brian Castle. Zakane? I didn't even know that Zakane. Yeah, they're right there, right? That's crazy. Yep. That's nuts. It's insane. Of course, Crazy. if you feel like donating, we appreciate that. Thank you so much. You can call and leave us a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us at info at toybreak.com. Of course, you can email uh, a voice, uh, MP3 with a voicemail if you feel like doing that. Then you don't have to call in. You can make a, a video. You can do your own review. Whatever you want to send us, we love it. Also, keep up with us on Facebook at, toy, at facebook.com slash toybreak. Actually, and you can check out our toy briefs at youtube.com slash toybreak. We've got a lot of good stuff up there. What else you got, Cooper? Before we leave, I just want to ask something. It's a question that I wanted to ask on Toy Break. Um, okay. I was wondering about your your Butsy, but I I while uh while my mom was like sneaking it in her garage, but um uh but I was also gonna ask uh what just so everyone knows, Butsy is favorite... a custom I made. <laughs> yeah, it's a custom Yoko. Go to go to. Cooper's uh, mom was sneaking George's Butsy into the garage. <laughs> Um, and then, um... Yeah, there's pictures. There's more to that story there's, on... Go to customyokoshow.com. <laughs> you can... And then you can see George's custom Butsy... <laughs> Butsy. And then... It, it's, um... If you... If you scroll down... What was your question? Oh, it, my question <laughs> is... What are your favorite yokas from that show? Um, oh, uh... There's so many. What... What yokas did you get from that show? Or... Or ones that you wanted to get? And what did uh what did uh George do anything with that butsy? Because I was but that answer that question is already answered. My you mom have... was hiding it. <laughs> okay. So you have the butsy. I have the butsy. Okay. So I, I didn't do butsy. anything with it, you have it now. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know where it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's let you guys say this last line. And now here's uh here's your Toy break. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>